So as you know, I've been using Firefly to make my headers as the weeks go by. This is the week six, and I wanted to show you how to process these in the way that I did, using Photoshop to make some changes. For example, the E's always look the same. So I always download two of these four options, and then I add some of the effects that I've been showing you with the text. So let's take a look at those. If I look in my headers folder, you can see I've got my two week sixes. I'm going to right click and open with Photoshop. I'll actually be opening both of these. This week there was no longer a little stamp in the corner, so I won't have to worry about that. But let me go ahead and open up the second one as well. As you can see, I've got two different ones. I like this one, but not having both of those E's on there. So what I'm going to do is combine those two layers and then erase one E from one layer and everything else from the other. So if I like this general one right here, I can erase E for erase. So it can be erased this way. You could also make a selection and draw a rectangular selection, selection around that pretty easily and just press delete. There are other kinds of delete nowadays, but we are simply deleting it that way. Now I want to take this one and line it up on top of the other, but I want this E only. So I'm going to take and delete. You've got to be careful when you do that that you catch it all. And now I've got this E. So pulling that one down, I'm going to control D, deselect so that I can simply move this E over to this one. Now, Photoshop's pretty good about helping you line things up right there. You can see it's lined up with the bottom, the E, and then that looks like about the right spacing. So now I've got a week six made up of two different layers. If we want that to just be one layer, apply all the effects to it. Um, it's pretty easy layer and then merge what's visible right now, which are those two layers, layer one and layer two. Now it's all on one layer. So I can use just some blending options such as a bevel and emboss, which I'm going to control plus zoom in and see if that bevel is enough. Probably need to increase the size of the bevel a little bit. You can see it appearing there just enough to give it that 3D look to it. Uh, we can also do things like an inner glow. I've got green from before. Let me just put a nice chocolatey. Looks like it has some golden. Anyway, that's the inner glow. And of course, the drop shadow is the one that I really like for making this look 3D. So again, blending options or double click on effects. Drop shadows should be coming, well, whatever direction you want, getting the distance there. And you don't want it to look actually like the letter, meaning increase the spread and the size until it's rather softer and bring that opacity down, usually at least a third opacity. Uh, because when you put this on a background, that becomes a lot thicker. What does that mean? Well, let me make a layer right here and just use my paint bucket tool. This is a little switch button that will let me fill that layer with white. You can see how solid that actually looks even at one third. If I press control zero, I got one more thing I want to do. When you've got drop shadows or glows or anything like that, they get close to the edge. It's pretty um, normal for you to be cutting off part of the shadow, even though it doesn't look like it here. So I'm going to use the crop tool. Uh, right now I've got some settings I was using earlier. Let me just clear those out. And then I'm going to actually crop some additional space onto it. I don't really need it on the left, but a little bit of extra space on the right is going to allow me to have the glow not be cut off. Depends on how far your distance is or how big the glow is when you do that. Now I've got a graphic that I can um, export as a PNG. We need to keep this transparency because later on you may want to put this on a different background. 
So I'm going to first save this as a Photoshop file so it remembers the different effects that I put on there. This is Firefly Week 6. I'll just keep the name the same. And then do a file, export, and since it's a PNG with transparency that we want, we can just do our quick export. And you can see that I've got week six down here. Uh, those are the original PNGs. So let me just put week six. So I can add that on to the website. So right now I'm building that week six. So if you give this to me as a PNG with that kind of transparency, drop shadow, some bevel and emboss, I'd be really happy to use it. Let me close that and you'll see just how I add that to the website. So let me switch back over here. This is what it looks like if it's just a plane. And what I'm going to do instead is simply replace the image by uploading the week six PNG that I've got on there. And it's got a lot better style 